started. Hi, my crafty friends. Welcome to Raincross Farms Makery. My name's Robin. Behind the camera, behind the behind the curtain, behind the computer is Pay my no husband, Bill. Pay no curtain. attention to that man. Anyway, we are glad to have you here this evening. Um, we are coming to you just outside of Lewiston, Idaho from our our messy little craft studio. Anyway, we are glad to have you here. We are happy to be hosting this segment of Craft Round the Clock. So let me tend to a little bit of business on my computer and we will be up and going. And I'll be right back. So hop on in, say hello when you get here and we are going to pick a post. Did you have a nice Tuesday? Still the beginning of the week? You can do it. Okay, I'm saving that and I'm publishing that. And awesome. Hop on in, say hello when you get here. If you're new, let us know. We'd be glad to welcome you. Tell us where you're watching from. And I'm almost done. I'm going to turn that off and we are, we should be good. Hello, hello, hello. Is anybody here yet? Well, I'm here. Well, somebody's watching. Somebody's, we see one set of eyeballs. One eyeball. Say hello, say hello. So while you're hopping on, we would, we would so appreciate it if you'd give our page a heart, if you'd follow our page, and if you would sprinkle this video out to your crafty friends, if you have any craft groups that you belong to that like to watch other people's lives, feel free to sprinkle those into those groups. We would certainly appreciate it. So let's see. Don't, well, let, how about we just get started? I'm afraid I'm going to run out of time. Well, it's Deborah. Hello, Deborah. Hello, Deborah, Deborah Fig. De Deborah or Deborah? Oh, Deborah, that's... Deborah. I'm not sure if you pronounce it a specific way. Anyway, welcome. We're glad you're here. Um, we are going to be, if you saw the little, the little teaser post, we are going to be making a door hanger with flowers and butterflies. And I'm kind of winging this as I go. Hello. Hello, Miss Patty. How are you? Thank you for sprinkling, Deborah. Thanks so much. So I saw somebody do this, but I didn't see how they did it. So I'm completely winging it. And I do have to tell you, I am wearing, suddenly, like within the last two hours, I have gotten this scratchy throat and stuffy nose, and it, it just makes me think that hay fever is getting ready to kick in. I don't know if you are prone to that, but it's awful. Anyway, I made some earrings today. I did a cute little reel making these earrings. I don't know if you can see them. They are, well, let me, let me take it off. They are, for those that are bothered by seasonal allergies, they are Sudafed tablets. I made some cute little earrings. Anyway, it was just silliness. So look for our reel on Raincross Farms Makery and, and check that out. Hey, Ken, we don't have to start over. We are just getting started. And yes, allergies are horrible there. They tend to be horrible here. They usually hit me right before our church camp out and I just, it, they just lay me flat sometimes. Trying to find out which medication to take, trying all of them, trying not to try them all at once. Anyway, um, for the butterflies on our project, we are going to be using this transfer. It's our etched butterflies. You can tell this is, it's not brand new, but it is back and they are beautiful. So these are going to be our butterflies. Ooh. I hear the chicken and Mr. Bill's not here, so I guess I am going to look and see who the last person on was. 
looks like every day is Saturday. So that's my friend, Patty. Okay, so you are entered in our, in our drawing at the end of the live. Every week, we are hopeful to get 25 live viewers at some point in our in our little presentation. And if we do, I promise to give away some happy mail at the very end. In order to get entered into that drawing, I set my little chicken timer for a random amount of minutes. And hi, Cindy. And when the timer goes off, it's Bill's job to check his screen. And the last person that commented that hasn't already had a ticket put in gets their name put in for the drawing. So you want to be commenting especially when that timer goes off. Hi, Cheryl, first time watching. We're glad to have you. We hope you enjoy it and hope you will decide to follow our page. We are also going to be making our the, the part that is going to hold the flowers out of one of these lovelies. It is a self-adhesive wall tile from the Dollar Tree. It's plastic and we're going to back it with some felt sheets and we're going to make a little pocket to stuff in some pretty spring flowers and we can hang this on our door or wherever. So Cindy, we are making a flowers and butterfly door hanger out of one of these doodads. So I'm going to start with, you know, I'm going to start getting this ready and then that can be drying. So if you haven't used one of these from the Dollar Tree, Get yourself a couple. Don't just get one because you'll wish you bought a couple. So what it is, is a plastic, looks like one of those tin wall tiles. Now I'm not going to take it off of the sticky, but I am going to get some scissors here. I am going to paint it up. So let me get a board that I can paint on and not make a mess. And I'm gonna get my big old brush and I'm going to use just chalk paint. This is Waverly brand plaster color. And I'm just going to give this a coat because I, I don't want it silver. If you like it silver, you could certainly keep it that way. But I'm just taking the chalk paint and smooshing it in there, getting in all those little nooks and crannies. Speaking of nooks and crannies, we need to bring some English muffins up from the freezer. Mr. Bill didn't hear me. What did you say? I'm sorry. I said I was talking about nooks and crannies, and I said we need to bring some English muffins up from the freezer. Oh. <laughs> they make a really good muffin. English muffin Friends. There. Yeah. We have a good bread company that's local here. They make good stuff. So we we they have a an outlet so for their we used to always call it day old bread. So they have a day old bread place and so we always go and stock up on all kinds of bread and stick it in our freezer. Hi Tammy. Yes, I did say hi. Okay, who was that? Tammy. Whiting. Tammy Whiting. Okay, let me get your name on a ticket, Tammy. And we got okay. 24 in here right now. Yay! Okay, I'm gonna finish painting this up. I'm gonna try to not get fingers fingers on my paint. Paint on my fingers. And then we're going to kind of let this dry. And thank you for sprinkling, Tammy. Yes, thank you so much. And there's Cheryl Craig. Hello, Cheryl. Hi, Cheryl. Do we have another Cheryl here tonight, too? Yeah. There was another one up here. I don't think our, I haven't seen Cheryl Brock. She's one of our regulars. Oh, Cheryl was just saying hi to everybody. Else. Oh, okay. So, sense. same Cheryl, just commenting. She, she wants, ooh, I'm going to reset my timer. Reset your chicken. chicken. My chicken timer. I'm getting a different timer. I ordered one from Amazon, or actually, I think Bill ordered it for me. I just had it in the cart. And it just, 
automatically got ordered, I guess. <laughs> so I'm so hopefully I won't have to be I won't have to remember to turn off the time to reset the timer, but it won't be as cute as the chicken. I was gonna say it's um no, it's just a plain old just a plain old timer. I'm gonna miss the chicken. We might we might not lose the chicken. Okay. Okay, so I think I have this painted up. Not it's not a super good job, but I don't think we're gonna see it very much. So here is here is my tile, and I've just kind of given it a coat of of this plaster color. Let's try and dry it just a bit. We got 28. Woohoo! Okay, so we are definitely doing a drawing at the end. If we get a lot more than 28, we might give away extra happy mail. Okay, so if you're just joining us, we are making a door hanger using one of these Dollar Tree um, plastic tiles. They are self-stick, but I, I'm not using the self-stick part of it tonight. So I'm going to give this a quick dry. Then we're going to make some butterflies that will go on this. Whoa. Is it, are we having a power outage? No, I'm just coming unplugged. So I'm not going to completely dry this. I'm going to set it aside. Hello, Terry. Thank you for sprinkling. Okay, I'm gonna set this aside, let it continue to dry on its own, and then at the end, if I need to touch it up, I will. So let's get over to our butterflies. I'm going to make our butterflies with our chalk suede paper. This is 12 by 12 sheets of special paper that is um, perfect for chalking on. So I took one sheet already and I cut it in half because we're going to do two different backgrounds. So one of them we're going to paint up black and one of them we're going to paint up orange for our butterflies. So I've got my chalk paste that we're going to use as paint. I'm just going to thin it down. Hey Brenda, thank you for sprinkling. Okay. Well, that was Brenda. Okay, Brenda, you got entered into our drawing. Brenda Pescia. Okay. So I'm going to take just a little bit of this, and I'm going to actually put it in the lid. And I'm going to spray this with a little bit of distilled water and I'm going to mix it up. So I'm just thinning it out so it's more like paint consistency instead of the paste consistency. And we're going to paint our background. So we're gonna kind of go for the monarch butterfly look, the black and orange. So let me get, I've got my orange, I've got my brush. I'm gonna get another board to paint on. And I'm just gonna paint up our paper. And if it's too thick, I may just spray, I may just spray it, that will thin it out a little bit. Pretty, pretty. And this, this color is orange peel, so it's our bright orange. And it doesn't have to be perfect. It can kind of look like watercolor, shaded watercolor. Linda Lou says they got up to 100 degrees today. I saw you were saying something about not going outside and <laughs> too hot. My phone says Neoma's watching. Hello, Neoma. Okay, so here I've got my orange background painted. Hi, Neoma. 
and hi Linda I don't think I said hello to you so I've just got that painted it paints up really nice it doesn't absorb into the paper and on this one we are going to paint with black so the reason I mixed this with distilled water is so if I have extra I didn't reset the timer so if I have extra I can put it back in my jar and not worry about little things growing and turning into mold. Okay, reset the timer. We were what was our what was our temperature yesterday? 70 70 um, something? 78. 78, which is 78. pretty warm for here, but then it's been raining like ever since. So it's cooled down quite a bit. Okay, so I'm going to, I'm going to try not diluting this, and this is really thick, so I am going to give it a spray, and I'm just getting a black background. I do think I want this a little bit more solid. Cheryl says she loves the orange color, and Cindy Thank said you. it was a beautiful day. Scrub carpet, so Ooh. much fun. Yes, that just that sounds, sounds like fun. Riverside, Ken. 87 today. 87. 82 in Missouri. Missouri. Well, that's where Cheryl is. Missouri. Missouri. Did I say it wrong, Cheryl? <laughs> Tell Robin. Tell Robin. Ask I her. know. It's just that's not usually how you talk unless you have gone to Tennessee and have turned into a hick. Okay. So I've got my black background painted, scrape off the excess, and I'm going to give these a quick dry. I'm going to need that black again. Katie in Kentucky. So looks like it's warm all across the country today for the most part. Yes, that's, that's good. I guess it's about time. Okay, let's dry up my orange. Trying not to run out of time. That's kind of my legacy I leave here on Craft Around the Clock. When I, when I am not on Craft Around the Clock and just doing a live for my own, I'm not under a time limit, so. So I get spoiled with that. And now I've got 45 minutes and I gotta finish it. Okay. Let's dry this. I see 38 sets of eyeballs. That is awesome. We love it. You guys must be sprinkling it, sprinkling it out. You can say Missouri uh, any way you like. You misery? Yeah, they might not think that's funny. Okay, and again, I have, you know, I feel like my allergies are kicking in. Hopefully it's not a, uh, a cold. I love butterflies. My bathroom is decorated in butterflies. I bet that's pretty. So hopefully you'll like these butterflies and maybe you'll give them a try. They're, we're just making them out of this paper. There's my timer. And Cindy Clark is entered into our drawing. Let me get her. In case you wonder what we're doing, I have a chicken timer that goes off every five-ish minutes. Let me get Cindy's name down. And because we have at least 25 viewers, we are going to have a drawing at the end for some happy mail. So to get entered in that drawing, Every five minutes, the timer goes off, and the last comment that Bill sees on his screen gets put in the drawing. So that's what that's all about. Doesn't mean you've won anything yet. Okay, I'm make sure this is dry, because we're going to put a sticky transfer down on top of this. Okay, and I really don't want the sticky transfer to pull up the paint, so I'm going to take some of my surface wax, 
And we need to get another one of these because this is getting kind of cruddy looking. I don't think I had, here we go. Got a nicer one. So this is my surface wax. It, I sell this in my shop. It's just clear paste wax. And what I'm gonna do is just put a tiny little bit over this paint to ease the stickiness of the transfer because I don't want the transfer to pull up the paint that I just put down. So just a little bit of wax, buff out any excess. So that kind of gives it a slick surface. And let's do this one. So we'll do a couple of butterflies. This also kind of gives it a little bit of a sheen. So if you are interested in any of the supplies I'm using, you can comment the word supplies and you will get a bot message to your messenger that will show you where you can find my, my supply list. Okay, so here is my transfer. You might call it a stencil. These are sticky backed, thought you shaved your beard. Oh, you're looking at, you're stalking people online? No. No? He changes, um, Oh, that's right, I did see that. Picture. Okay, so I we are going to use, okay, we're going to use this one for the one that looks like the monarch. Say hello to Sue. Hi, Sue Engel, welcome. And even though this has been used, I am going to fuzz it, put a little bit of lint on it with a towel. Because again, I don't want this sticky part to pull up my paint. So I'm just going to lay this down over the top here. And I've got a clump there. So I'm pushing it down, making sure it's, it's all adhered and there's no lumps and bumps underneath. Can you kind of see that? We're going to chalk over it. Let me do the other one. little bit of fuzz, I want that big chunk of fuzz, a little bit of fuzz, and I'm going to put this on the black background. Okay, so this is an awesome transfer. It comes with the two big butterflies, the two small butterflies. It comes with this little background, looks like old-fashioned writing and and some other little doodads. So it's very versatile. So let's start with our Monarch. And let me get a drying mat out. And we're gonna use our black paste. I'm actually gonna use, I'm gonna use my black shimmer. Okay, so this is black, but it just has a little bit of shimmer. I'm going to stir it up to get all those mica flakes resuspended. Marianne, we're glad you're here. Yay, Marianne, you're still up just getting here. Well, I am glad you're still up if you're glad you're still up. If you're happy to still be up, we're glad to have you. Okay, chalk paste, squeegee. I'm going to put a little bit on my squeegee, and I'm just going to drag this over the screen, pushing it through. I'm not pushing hard. Just gently, like I'm buttering bread. And scraping off that excess, putting it back in the jar because I can reuse that. Oh, I didn't reset the timer. Oh, did I put the last name in? Was the, was the last Roger name was Cindy, Cindy Clark? Clark? Okay, I got her. Okay. okay, I reset the timer. You guys have to remind me to reset the timer. I'm yes, gonna, Terry, it is. I'm going to peel this off. Yes, it is Chalk Couture brand. Isn't that pretty? And we're going to cut out around that. We're going to kind of do a fussy cut. I'm going to put this down on a drying pad, like from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to spray it because I'm not ready to clean it yet. But if I keep that paste damp, it will be easier to clean. 
Okay, now this one I'm going to do with our brand new color of the month. This is only available while supplies last in the month of April. This is called Duchess, and it's a really pretty, uh, mostly blue, but there's a slight hint of uh, purple in there, so it's kind of a periwinkle. The only way you can get the color of the month is with um, customers with a $75 subtotal purchase that you will unlock the the keys to the vault where you can purchase this color designers you only have to have $45 and you can purchase this color but it's only while supplies last and so far every month that we have had color of the month we have sold out so very pretty Oh, I like it. So I'm just going to give it a try. That's why I wanted it on this black background to kind of give it a big pop. Cindy said that's a Pittsburgh Steelers color. Is it? Yes, it is. Is it? I did not know that. I wouldn't have thought. I wouldn't have thought it'd have something so light. No, orange or black. Orange of, Oh, oh, the butterfly. Oh, I thought you talked about the blue. It's like. I don't think I've ever seen that football team. Okay, and this is also a shimmer. So pretty. Now I'm seeing that purple come out. Okay, scrape off the excess. Let me peel this off and show you. Ooh, isn't that pretty? I'm liking it too much. Okay, and I'm going to put that sure. down on the drying mat. I think you're right. It is. Um, okay, that was Cheryl Craig. Cheryl Craig. Did we? We, we haven't had Cheryl Craig. Nope, we don't. Your favorite color. Good. Okay, I'm going to put the lids back on these. And we are going to get to getting. I'm going to make sure these are dry for drying. So pretty. I don't. You can't see that sparkle, but the the black has shimmer, so it kind of shimmers. I don't think you can, I don't think the camera picks it up very well. Okay, I'm going to set these aside, let them continue drying. We're going to cut them out and then we're going to finish working on our tile piece. So this is one of those plastic tiles from the Dollar Tree. They're sticky back, but I'm not peeling off that plastic to use the stickiness. And I'm going to um, kind of rough it up a little bit with a little uh, with a little extra paint to kind of highlight some of those that the up and down of the tile. I win. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy it and you decide you would like to follow our page. We like to do lots of lives. We don't do them every day unless I'm involved in some sort of a challenge. But uh, a couple times a week we do live, live videos. Okay, so that I've got done. I'm going to take a little bit of, this is truffle color. It's a dark brown chalk paint. And I'm going to just kind of dry brush this on. Well, Brenda wants to know if you set the chicken. I did not. Thank you, Brenda. Oh my goodness. Thank Ken you, says, Brenda. Ken says she forgot to set the chicken. That's what that's said, your well, job is to of everything. It's your job. Okay, so I'm I'm taking this and I'm just I don't want to use very much paint at all. So I have it on a paper towel. I just want a tad bit on my brush. And I'm just it's called a dry brush technique. The brush is like almost dry. And I'm just lightly dragging it over. 
that and it just kind of highlights the raised edges. And because it's a dry brush, it doesn't go all the way down. So that, that bottom part stays that cream color. I just love that look. as much or as little as you want if you want to do multiple colors I I might want to put in some gold or some silver but anyway that's what that's what that made it looks like it just makes those those embossing kind of pop out at you okay let's see let me hit that with the dryer one more time Put on my lid. and then we'll get to making our little pocket Pocket to pocket to pocket to. We did it again. What did I do again? No, for me. Oh. I'm going to tilt it down a little bit and okay. cut off her head. Don't, uh, don't get seasick. Oh, we can't see what you're doing because oh, it's okay. way up here. And oh, sorry. Well, okay, I need to remember to stretch. Okay, if you missed it earlier, I showed you my fancy earrings that I made on a reel today. They are, because I get allergy, I get hay fever, I made some earrings out of Sudafed tablets. <laughs> the idea of making earrings will, will cross over it. You don't have to use Sudafed tablets. Okay, so this is done. And I'm going to use some felt. I'm going to need two sheets of it because one of them is not wide enough. And I am going to... I really am. I'm going to glue this. To my plastic tile. I'm just going to use hot glue. It should work. Linda says, um, love the Sudafed earrings. I've been taking a lot of lately. Yeah. Yep. Okay. And let me go across here. Well, I don't see Ken's. Maybe he removed it. He said, Ken said he misses the overhead view. Oh, I know. Oh, that was Terry Joe. Terry Joe. Terry Joe Jellison. Terry. You are enrolled. Enrolled. You are entered into our end of the live drawing. We have 40 people watching. So right now I've got, I've gotten it around here. I've gotten it around here. Now I'm going to overlap this. I could trim it, I'm not going to. So I'm just basically making this a pocket. So I'm just going around the outside edges. And watching my time and then I'm going to attach these two attach these two that together. Belt is actually a gold color it is it's kind of a gold goldenrod it is actually called gold okay and then to attach these thank you Nancy Thank you, Nancy. Always appreciate the sprinkling. Okay, so I've got it all around the bottom and the two sides, and here I have like a little pocket that I can stick some flowers, and I have a bunch of these, and I'm not I'm not even gonna put in any any uh what's that stuff that 
foamy stuff. I'm just foamy stuff. Foamy. The florist foam. Is that the tip? Is that the technical name for it? Foamy, foamy stuff? stuff. Yes. Okay. So I'm just. I'm going to go some page. And I have some more flowers here. Lots and lots of yellows. So I'll probably go back and fuss over this later. I gotta get to cutting out. Get to cutting out my butterflies. So lots of gold colored, lots of gold colored flowers. And let's get some butterflies. And I'm gonna get, do I have my small scissors? Okay, I have my small scissors, so we're just going to do a quick little fussy cut. If you know what a fussy cut is, we're just kind of cutting around it, but we're not being super, super detailed. And then we're going to stop and... That was Nancy Wilson Page. Nancy Wilson Page. Okay, you also are entered, and I think we have time to... Oh, thank you for the stars, Ken. Okay, so let's get these cut out. So I'm just cutting around quickly. I'm not, not sloppy, but not, I'm not super concerned that I'm getting up against the black. Nancy says she's watching from North Carolina. Awesome. Thank you. Is it your first time? We are so happy to have you. And for those that didn't hear, we're actually in Idaho. We're in Idaho. Sort of the northern section, top third of it. We're up near the panhandle. So what is attached to the felt? What is attached to the felt? Um, I attached the outside of the felt, oops, I just scraped off some of my paste, to one of these um, tile, plastic tiles from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to I'm gonna have to work a little bit more on my flowers after we're done. Joan Grant from New Mexico, good to have you. Thank you. We are so glad you're here. Lots of newbies, lots of oldbies. And Sue says she's from Oklahoma. My mom was an Okie. Mm -hmm. We still have family in Oklahoma. Proud to be an Okie. Not from Muskogee, but you know. Yeah, Marianne, Marianne's from Lewiston, Maine. Oh, that's right. We have the, the two Lewiston that. cities that I know of in this in the United States are represented in the house. Okay, so here is our here is our monarch. Do I have time? Wynn is from southern side of Kansas City. Kansas side. <laughs> <laughs> and Lynette says she's from upstate New York. Awesome. We're all over. You guys are up late. It's only it's only only almost seven here. My paste isn't completely dry yet, so I've got to be careful. Western Kentucky. Where is your cousin from? Magnolia. She's from Magnolia, and she said no, she was not anywhere near the shooting, the bank shooting, thankfully. But it's hard to hear about. Yeah, Patty said it's almost 10 there. So hopefully I am soothing you off to sleep, giving you something to dream about. Barbara's from Florida. We are all over. Yeah, 
about an hour and 40 minutes from Louisville. And there's Rosie Bister. Hey, Hi, Rosie. Rosie from Claremont. I think you're still from Claremont. 952 in North Carolina. Okay, what did she, what did she, what was the, the tag word? She says, I'm an hour from 40 minutes and your uh, bot gave her something. Uh-oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Marianne Just ig says she's falling asleep. Igno Sorry about that. Ignore the bot if you didn't mean for it. If you are interested in the supplies, you can comment supplies and my bot will send you a link. If you are interested, oh, let me tell you, we are launching some new products on Thursday morning. So if you want to get a sneak peek at those, you want to be in my VIP group because I have a special that I'm offering and I can't advertise it on my business page. So you want to join my VIP group. So type in VIP or you might have a little uh, button you can push straight on your phone that will take you directly to my VIP group link. And who was that one? That was Marianne. Oh, wait a minute. Yep, yeah, that was the last one in. Marianne. Lindsay Airy, okay, got you in. Okay, so I'm gonna work on poofing up my flowers. So here's my flowers, and we are going to take our butterflies, and we're going to kind of bend them up. And, and if you join the VIP group, make sure you post their crafts. We yes. like to see what other people are doing. Yes, VIP group is free. It's just my private group. You have to answer a couple of questions to get accepted into it. Not a big deal. I just need to make sure that you're not a designer. And you'll get to see my special that I have coming up for Thursday's launch. Not lunch, launch. Okay, now I don't have time on this live, but I have, I have some nautical rope and what I think I'm going to do is either go all the way around the pocket and glue on the rope and then put a hanger or I might just go straight into a hanger with the rope. So this can hang on your door. You could also just hook it up here on the back and hang it, but isn't that pretty? And I did my butterfly upside down. What was that? Oh, I think he fell off. You say, Why I... did your butterfly fall off? Because uh, the glue wasn't set. Wasn't set all the way. Wasn't set. Well, oh, you're oh. out of time. You need to I make am. a okay. here. Okay, so anyway, that'll probably fall too. Let's let it sit. I'm going to do the drawing. So let's do three winners because we have right now we have 52 people on. Awesome. So let's see. Our first winner for Happy Mail is Cheryl Craig. Make Cheryl sure Craig. There she here. is. She just she just commented. And our second winner is Nancy Wilson Page. Nancy Wilson Page. Let us know you're here. And Terry Joe Jellison. Terry Joe Jellison. Woohoo! So I will reach out to you uh, through Messenger. I'll probably do it as soon as I finish cleaning up here, but you don't don't feel like you have to respond tonight because I know it's late where some of you are. But be looking for a message from Raincross Farms makery in your messenger your facebook messenger and i need to get a little bit of information from you to find out the perfect happy mail to send you and then i'll get that on its way to you so here is our project again i'm going to do a little fluffing and and that kind of stuff but here is our fancy little door hanger i hope you like it thank you so much for watching our portion of craft around the clock i hope you enjoy the next crafter if you're staying up and i hope you'll follow our page so you can see some more of our our fun and crazy things that we do so have a good evening have a good rest of your week bye bye